what happens with the machine that with stringy material when you're trying to machine stringy material with a screw machine especially is that the strings build up in the machine and so they wrap around the tools they wrap around the tool slides and the worst thing that happens is a chip gets in front of a drill and when the drill tries to go in it can't go in because there's a chip there it can't drill the hole so the, the tools will break um, same thing can happen with a, with a form tool or a shave or anything so the way to stop the stringer is to actually stop the feet or to peck drill is a common term that people use. They come and they drill and they back out and they drill and they back out and they drill and they back out. And there's a lot of systems that are actually commercially available in the market for drills with air motors to actually offer a peck drilling feature. Um, in some screw machines it's possible what they do is they take the cam that's pushing the slide and they drill a gash in it. It's called a chip breaker cam and so they'll drill a series of gashes in the cam um, but then you've ruined that cam basically. That cam becomes a chip breaker cam. So what this does is it electronically uh, creates a chip breaker without altering the cam at all. Um, uh, different than a chip breaker cam, we actually stop the feed on every cam in the machine, on the entire machine. So that means that if there's a, a part of the machining cycle where you can't use a chip breaker, like we were talking about perhaps for tapping, um, or perhaps for shaving, you might not want to have this dwell. You can adjust it inside of the control. But what it does is as the machine goes forward, it stops feeding for an instant. The chip breaks off because there's no feed, uh, falls down into the chip pan in the machine, and then the feed starts again. Uh, and you, it's adjustable between 1 and 99, so you could do 99 different uh, stops and starts if you wanted to in one machining cycle. We have this particular one set to do about six. So it goes on and off six times during the machining cycle. So instead of getting, for example, on the shave, I think on when we were running it without the uh, chip breaker, it was making one, or the form, it was making one long ribbon. Just one ribbon the whole time. It never broke off once. Um, and we, now we break it off at least six times. And maybe it breaks off once or twice on its own. But we certainly break it when we stop the feed. So this is an inch and three quarter Wickman. Um, it was a newer machine that had, oh, excuse me, it was an older machine that had uh, mechanical Herbert clutches in it. Um, it was retrofitted by uh, Brian uh, in the last week with uh, Logan high-low clutch and brake. Uh, and also uh, by Julio, the electrician here at Graf Pinkert, with the Logan XT16 control. So we're going to feed out in one spindle. This is an aluminum, is it, uh, what is it, 66, what, what material? 6061. 6061. Um, so it's very stringy. Um, you can see we ran some parts before without the chip breaker feature. Uh, I mean, we've, that's, that's what we got. And so this is a traditional stringer from a drill. That's from a form tool. That's an, these are material that came off this machine. We're only going to feed out in one position. And if you want, when we run the machine, you can come up and look at it and see the stringers. Um, We'll run one complete index cut off a part, we'll feed out another one, so we'll have to stop then. We can talk yeah. and look at the, you can look at the chips in the bottom of the machine and see the difference between what we ran before and what we ran now. So, that's good. Stop the whole machine and there's a dwell. Right. And the dwell lets the chip break off. Okay. So every time there's a dwell, there's no feed, chip ends. Right, right. That goes down. If you look in if you look in the bottom of the machine, you can see you can see the difference. Well. 
and we can adjust the length of the dwell time or the length of the pulse. So this, I think, has six pulses during the feed cycle. So potentially you break the stringer off six times. Okay. But you could do it a lot more if you wanted to. Yeah. It's completely adjustable. It's adjustable to 99. So you can break it off as many times as you want. Six just seemed like a reasonable amount. Yeah. You know, the, the chips, there's no bird's nest in there. Like Does the clutch you, actually just engage and disengage? Is that what gives it the chip bird feed in it? We're stopping the whole thing. Um, so the brake is off. The machine actually is, is completely idle at that point. It's, it's basically close to a stop. So it's feeding forward. We, let the, we turn the dwell on. It disengages everything. The machine coasts to a stop. And then we engage it again and make it go. Two places to stop it and start it. So right now we have it just stopping and starting at 1. We have the chip breaker starting at 1.30 and stopping at 2.59. And we could also, like I say, you had a thread roll or a shave or something. A shave would be a place where you probably wouldn't want to do the dwell. Um, you could uh, you can have it stop and start twice in that feeding cycle. So you can have a, a, a place where you don't do the chip breaker. Yeah. You, know, you can do it early and late, so it just depends on the timing of the job. But it is possible to either do it just at the beginning or just at the end, or twice in one machining cycle. So it is adjustable. And if you look at the next, there's my dwell in degrees, and then there's my pulse. I've got 20 degrees of cam rotation where the thing just feeds forward and normally. And I've got it dwelling for five. So. Um, which is enough to make the machine stop because you need it to stop to, so the chip breaks off. It's totally adjustable. So, so, so every job might be different. Different materials might be different. Or we haven't tried it enough, you know. I mean, we took this because it's obviously stringing material. It's a job that you might not take because you couldn't run it good, you know, if you were running this material on a screw machine. All the other features still work, lockup detection, thread check. All those things still are functional inside the control and inside the machine itself.